Hello all. In today's lesson that we have at St. Mary's in our Adjusted Ministry is on liturgical colors. And the first liturgical color I'm going to start with is actually going through the entire liturgical year. It's where we start. The first Sunday of Advent. And we wear this blue color for the first, second, and fourth Sundays of the Advent season. In the Ordo of the Polish National Catholic Church, we, this is listed first, blue, with an option as purple, second. Um, and this color represents anticipation and prophecy, or those themes that you would find uh, if you have an Advent wreath, on the lighting of the Advent wreath each Sunday during the Advent season. Um, the blue is called and used to show that there's a different feeling of the uh, uh, during the season of Advent and Lent, the anticipation of the blue of Advent versus the penitential preparation of the purple of Lent. Once we get to the third Sunday of Advent, we are invited to use the rose color. And, and rose is a lightening of a penitential or an otherwise lower season. Uh, so the rose color is used on the third Sunday of Advent. It's used for the three weeks of the pre-Lenten season, as well as being an option to be used on Letere Sunday, which is the fourth Sunday of Lent. And an option there, if you watched some of the videos recently of the priests and wondered why last week they had rose, that's why, it's an option that's allowed. The color represents, uh, again, a lightening of the, mood, of the mood where there's a bit more joy during that Holy Mass. Uh, you'll never see the glory chanted or said during a Mass where this color is being used. Again, this is the lightener. You can't quite get up to glory level yet, but that's what the color rose represents, a little bit more joy. So we get through the first, second, third, fourth Sunday of Advent, and all of a sudden we are at Christmas. And the church is celebrating, which means we use the color white. Uh, white is, again, that highest color of joy in the, uh, in the Catholic liturgical colors. Um, used for solemnities of our Lord, uh, of the Polish National Catholic Church, of angels, of saints who were not martyred, uh, during octaves of solemnities of our Lord, and other high feast days there. There's a few notes to go along with this color white. If there is to be a Mass with the Blessed Virgin Mary, uh, her color, as we know, she should always bring blue, uh, and the church allows for blue on that white. Uh, again, it should be a predominant white color with blue. If your priest happens to have it backwards, if it's a blue vestment, you need to call the liturgical police immediately. Their number is unlisted, but you can find it somewhere. Again, this is what's allowed for a Marian devotion or a Mass to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Since we're at Christmas, another allowance that the church has is, is this. Um, this isn't shoulder pads for the San Francisco 49ers. This is gold right here. Um, before my time, uh, the metallics were very much the standard in the church throughout the 60s, the 70s, even into the 80s. If you look at any priestly ordination in that time, 90% uh, of them are going to be wearing these metallic numbers, uh, gold or silver, and reflecting the flash of the camera. Uh, again, it's allowed for the highest of holy feast days. So for Christmas and Easter, uh, these golds and these silvers can be used. Now, the presence of the color white means that the church is rejoicing, whether it is for the 40 days of Christmas, 40 days of Easter, uh, or a special moment in Christ's life where there is a solemnity for that day or the life of Mary. Um, white is good. That means the church is rejoicing that day. So we get through those days of Christmas, and we get to that little pocket of ordinary time that usually is in uh, mid-ish January, leaking into February. And that's where the color green comes in. And green is used more than any other color during, uh, during the, the year of the church. Green represents the ministry of our Lord and Savior, the, the calling of his apostles and disciples, his miracles, his teachings, um, the planting the seeds for the church, uh, that's what green represents. So when the priest is wearing green, we're going to hear about that sort of stuff in the Holy Gospel. Again, there's over 30 Sundays of ordinary time, so chances are if you roll into a church and don't know the date, you know, many are struggling with the date during these pandemic times, uh, green is uh, often the color that you will see. <clears throat> so we get through the color green, that short ordinary time season, the church gets into the pre-Lenten season of the rose, and now uh, where we get we get where we are right now, which is purple or violet right here. Uh, this is the color of the Lenten season, allowed to be used during the Advent season as well. The color of penitence and of preparation. 
On purple vestments, <clears throat> you'll often see symbols of Christ's passion or his kingship. It shows what's at the end of the Lenten season because we're preparing not only for his death, but his resurrection as well. Uh, it's also used for many mo uh, votive masses within the church, and uh, if a priest is going to be giving the sacrament of penance outside of mass, he will be wearing a stole that looks like this, uh, with the white on the other side to grant that absolution. Again, purple the color of penance, as well as the color of Lent. So we get through Lent, we come back to white for the Easter season, or, or gold for uh, some of my older brothers uh, in the priesthood. We get through all of that, and at the end of the Easter season, on that 50th day, we celebrate the descent of the Holy Spirit with the color red. The color of the Spirit, of Pentecost, of Confirmation, Masses of the Spirit, but also the color of bloodshed. A recent allowance of the church was that this could be used during the Palm Sunday Mass, uh, as well as any other martyred saint. Uh, most of the apostles of Christ were martyred, as we know as well. Uh, so red is that color there, used for the octave of Pentecost throughout those times. There is one other color that the church uses in the liturgical year. It's only called to be used one day, and that's Good Friday, and that is the color black. Um, Watch an old movie, and the priest almost always seems to be wearing black, because usually they show funerals in old movies. Uh, but uh, that used to be the color of a funeral as well, and All Souls Day. Now, we pretty much just use it for a Good Friday, again, with those options for a funeral, for a requiem mass, a mass for the dead, or for uh, All Souls. Hope you enjoyed this presentation. Uh, the next time we'll discuss the vestments that are used in church. God bless your day.